hello students welcome to the week 2 and uh, in this practical demonstration i will be talking about different uh, widgets that you have seen in the lecture video so let's start our project and what project again we will stick to the empty activity go to the next and then we will say that widgets demo and we want to change it to the week number two again the rest of the uh, um, here week two week two settings are same we don't need to i mean we have already discussed what are those we click finish it will create our project let me run that particular specific virtual device okay it's coming on my other screen and that is always two and let me bring it up here so that we can see that yep so let me close it now project is ready to be used so last time um, I told you that we have different now we'll be more, more we will not talk about the java code right now but we will stick to that particular specific xml layout how we define how we design our gui components how we are working them what are different layouts uh, in the beginning i will just try to split that particular specific view i don't want i will only look at design view these are the few settings that you can do all the time and i just want to reduce it so that i can see more of the text here the first thing that i want to do here instead of having that constraint layout which are a little bit complex and then we will be talking about it a little later i am going to convert into a linear layout yep the if you look at that it show me that option i just select that one and press enter when i press enter it will automatically change the starting tag as well as the ending tag and now these constraints are irrelevant we don't need them and now first thing is it's a text view it show me a text view here okay now the point is what are different properties for the widget for the ui component that is we call widget in the android language or the ui component in the general way so we have different properties the first two properties which are very important and they are compulsory for each and every component the ui component whether you talk about a lay layout it has the width and the height property whether you talk about the uh, text view it has the width and the height property these two properties are compulsory if you are not providing them for example if i just try to delete that it is going to under i mean let me show you the example i mean i don't have the width property i try to run it It is trying to run that particular specific thing Where is my run option go so it is not running due to some incident huh? so there is an issue if we look at the even log and we later stop we're working so it means that you have to provide that particular specific property if i just control z and run it again it should run without any problem so it means that if you are not providing 
the width or the height property for a UI component whether it is a layout or it is a widget itself your application is not going to run it is a error okay and unfortunately it is not showing me that particular specific or why this specific things happen but it is not going to run okay so width and height property are compulsory that's a one thing clear now we have different type of values first of all let me change a few properties so that we can see that particular specific hello world i say text size maybe 30 sp or yeah for we can see the text color i want to make it more uh zero 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 zero, zero. i'm a more uh, what you can say that uh, black so that it's more visible so maybe we can make it red but let's see okay so we have this so one when we are saying wrap content if i'm going to change that particular specific more text so if you look at that according to the size of the text the size or the width of that particular or even the height for example if i say slash and slash and it means you go to the new line uh, new line so you can see that uh, it is actually going to the new line so based on the half text which this particular specific text we want to show it will accordingly adjust its height and the width we can we, I mean, we can continue to uh, i say control c and then control v and then again control v control v control v i mean because the text has more height accordingly its height is increasing so that is the wrap content based on the contents of that particular specific gui component or the widget the height or the width are going to grow itself for example if i just try to put more text here more text more text and then i will show you that what's happened over here so when it is reached on the edge of the screen it is automatically wrapping up so that is one of the uh, property of our what you can say that <coughs> uh, property of the text view uh, text view widget whenever it reaches to the edge of the screen it automatically wrap up itself so let me delete it okay so now we are saying wrap content we understand what is the meaning of the wrap content the second possible value that we can provide for the width and height is a match parent when you say match parent it means that parent of this particular specific text view is the linear layout and the parent of this text linear layout is the complete screen itself okay so when it's a complete screen let me show you show the can i see see the decorations so some I mean this is more look like a mobile application so you can change some settings say show the tool tips or show the okay so how it looks like so this is how so this particular white area is the whole screen which is containing that particular linear layout so I'm saying that width and height are belongs to the whole screen so accordingly it will expand its sizes so here we are saying that that if we have a match uh, wrap content then according to the size of the text expect is set on the other hand if we change that particular value to match parent then according we look at that if this particular blue box it is covering the whole screen of the uh, mobile okay so match parent according to the parent it will expand its width and whole screen is being covered with that particular text view so these are two possible values wrap content and the match period the other possible value is we can give the dependency index uh, we can i mean we can set like for example i say 300 db now we are saying that we are no, we are hard coding the value it should have 300 pixel width why it is a dp it is a density independent pixels 
what is it or um, we will be discussing it in an, another video but not now in a simplest way you can say that some screens have high density you know uh, we can say that to uh, HD high definitions or very high definitions now we are talking about the 4k resolution or 8k resolution and if we go back uh, we have uh, very um, I mean, in, in the previous in the past we have small resolution not very high definition resolution so HD resolution so number of pixels in one square centimeter so that are increasing okay if we say only the pixels it means that if in, in, in a small area we have less number of pixels the size will be larger because we have a less number of pixels so 300 pixels will cover more area on the other hand with the high definition or the 4k resolution or the 4 8k resolution in the small area in the one cent square centimeter we have more pixels if we say that only the pixels it means that we only use 300 pixels if it is a high definition or the 4k definition then the size of that particular widget is going to be reduced or becoming more smaller and smaller as we are increasing the resolution but on the other hand if the resolution is going down the number of pixels in the in one square centimeter are going down uh, with less resolution then the size of that widget is going to increase so for older devices the size is bigger for the newer devices which has more resolution the size will go down that we don't want we want that whether the uh, whether the um, resolution of the screen is the 4k or hd or the low resolution we want that the size of this widget should remain same more or less not exactly the same but more or less it will our screen design should remain same so that's why we use the dp dp mean density independent pixels it is not based on the pixels itself it based on the density so if density is high it may be that 300 pixels will be translated into maybe 600 if the density is low on an older device then maybe these 300 uh, density pixels density independent pixels going to translate into 80 pixels only so it again it all depends uh, these are called density independent pixels okay we can have three possible values for the width and height whether we are giving the wrap content or the match parent for example if i say that here match parent so look at that the size of this text view is covering the whole height of the screen match period okay so i say that content and now <coughs> we are saying that three possible values for the height and width whether it's a wrap content whether it is a match parent based on our requirement we can see or we can fix the how many pixels we want to use and density independent pixel mean that it will try the rendering engine the uh, the mobile system or the android system will try to render that particular widget independent of the density of the screen high resolution accordingly it will adjust the number of pixels that need to be uh, that should be the size of the screen the size of the widget okay so we understand that now we have different properties for the text we have a text what text we want to show text size text color we also have a background color for example if i say that dollar i will just try to make zero 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 of course when you say that it becomes background color is zero or black so let me change it to yeah, this one yeah okay fine we can live with that so we have a orange color or the yellow color background uh, we can also have a text style text style can be this property can have multiple values and if you want to give the multiple values for a property then you need you need to use the pipe sign and then we can say that italic okay so it's a bold and italic you can say that this is the style 
uh, we can also have the text uh, alignment we can say that I won't have a center so it automatically according to the width of that particular specific widget it will align itself to the center maybe I can just try to change that particular 300 dp the height no it's I mean when you say center align center it means it is going to align itself to the horizontal center not the vertical center as well so let me make it back content as well back so these are some properties which we can set can we have some other if you want to see what are different properties available you can always say control and enter control sorry control not enter control space bar so it will show you layout gravity properties there margin properties there we have layout weight properties there what else we, maybe we can try to type text so all the text prop text direction we can say that uh, we can for example we normally we have left to right let me see if we can say right to left what happened that particular hello world but this particular exclamation sign is going at the left side not on the right so that's right to left property we can see okay we can also see the text directions text all caps i mean you this is a true false property whether it is a true whether it is a false if i say make it true then you can see that all the kept words actually it is only the h and the w which have capital but when you say all text all caps true automatically it will convert all the things into the capital words that's again we have some properties um, direction appearance color height I mean you can start working on these properties but yeah font weight font size and so on so there are different type of the uh, text properties that you can set over there but mostly we are using the colors we are using the uh, maybe sometime all caps uh, what will be the background color alignment style size and we can also have this text font but that's not right now okay so this is a text view with all different type of properties it has of course i cannot cover all the properties here but this is how we can try to uh, organize the thing here the next is our component is our button so we say button again as i told you the uh, uh, we have the wrap content wrap content and then what text we want to show over there uh, first button and then i just simply close it down that one okay so here we have so we have a text button here again it does not show very nicely let me change that particular specific thing into a audience because it's a linear layout i change it orientation to the vertical so because the things are going into the vertical direction rather than the horizontal direction so every next uh, uh, widget uh, which i put in that particular linear layout it is going below the previous one again if you look at that that particular text size i want to make it 30 sp the uh, here we say that dp mean density independent pixel here we will say scale scalable pixels so they are going to scale itself because it's a vector graphic which are actually the fonts so normally when we are talking about a text size we always use the sp rather than dp we can use the dp but we normally say that sp uh, what is the text color let me see if i can find the um, primary color uh, so it is more like our purple color maybe we can change it if we want mm. color accent we have used that one okay well let me see this one we have color accent we have this first button and we have increased the size so it is more kind of visible we can also say that i want to have a size of 200 and 50 dp so it will become like that and 
we can also if you look at that this particular specific if i just try to make it wrap content then this text is right sticking to that phone sometimes is difficult to read so we can add some property like padding padding to the left when you say pad left and i want 15 pixels space so you can see that as soon as i have given that particular specific zero okay so it's stick to the wall when i say 15 you can see that particular specific difference so it's showing me that particular specific 15 pixels on the left side space we can also put on the top on the bottom on the right if you want to have the same padding on all different directions on the top left and right you can simply set padding so it will set that particular specific property okay fine for the button we also have some specific property that is called style uh, we also have uh, if i just try to type button we have this one like we have icon pad button we also have uh, style widget app component action button yeah here uh, borderless when you say borderless it will become something like this it does not show me it's just like a white background just like a text but it actually a button over there uh, we can also say something like dot or borderless colored okay so if i just try to remove that particular property then it will be much more clear on the button property um, borderless when i say borderless it does not have any border but then we say borderless dot color it is becoming that particular colored one and then we can also have something uh, okay and this colored so you can see that this color property is in so this is a style which are already present you can have find a lot of different styles which has been there in the android libraries or you can import some styles from from the other person which you have developed and you can set those style here so these are the different ways to do the styling button things okay let me add the radio buttons here we also have the radio button again i said wrap content wrap content where i need to put a text here so we say uh, text yep we say that radio one and we close that particular again if we want to change that particular text size to 20 sp and text color to accent color okay so you can see that we can also put some padding here 10 dp okay so we have some padding and again let me uh, what you can say that let me copy that particular specific thing here i control c here i put a few buttons here and thus just change that particular specific property radio button one radio button two radio button three we also have the whenever you want to add a new widget so you first have the angle bracket this uh, less than less than sign and then you type with the capital letter remember that all these radio button or the button or the text style these are the classes inside the android api and the class name always start with the capital letter so i say capital checkbox again i say wrap content wrap content and then what text we want to show over there for example we say that check box one and then we say text size it is 20 sp text color again let me see uh, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. and then later on uh, we can simply click on that particular on the left side if you look at that we have that one and then we can just try to show some other okay so you can see that we have this one we can also put some padding here padding is 15 dp okay so that's a padding over there we can also have some margin uh, margin is the you know what some margin is margin is the space between two different widgets so maybe i say 20 dp so you can see that all around 
all around that particular specific box on the top on the left on the right on the bottom it is doing leave 20 pixel space 20 pixel white space okay again let me copy that particular specific thing mm. let me copy this particular checkbox okay we can three one should be fine uh, for the first one we are using the one checkbox one for the second and third we are using two and three we also can have some uh, so I also have some uh, images okay so let me choose a few images here I can just copy from this one and then once I copy I can go into my project folder okay so where is my okay where is that yeah here it is so we have the resources and the drawable we can just right click on our drawable and then paste and then we can select the destination folder normally we see it's a drawable drawable and then we click ok it will put all these uh, what you can say that these resources here fine and then we can simply in this particular specific uh, we can say that image we have image view we can say that here we don't want to put the wrap content maybe i said 150 dp and then we also have 150 dp and then we need to select the source of the image source is more like add the rate of drawable so when we should look at that we have b drill we have blast wise barbasaur butterfly charizard let me put the charizard here okay and then you can see that we have that particular specific charizard but it is going out of the screen okay out of the screen and then how we can solve that particular specific issue okay so how we can do that we have a way we need to provide some scrolling okay so we have different pages to the thing scrolling let me go back okay and remove that particular specific property from here if it is not vertical it means that everything that we are putting in this particular linear layout it is going to the right of the previous text view first one then button go to the right of this text view then we have a, a radio button that is going out of the screen but it is still there we also have the second radio button third radio button we have a fourth radio button we have a fifth radio button so not the checkbox one checkbox two checkbox three then we have put an image now we want to uh, how to access it okay so how to access it mean that we want to have that particular specific uh, we need to change that particular specific linear layout actually we need to wrap this linear layout with something okay um we have that one i just control x and here i say that i want to use the horizontal scroll view and then we have this and then we say control v so we have that one but let me put these things here uh, these values control c inside my here so i mean i mean it is actually telling us the, that xml namespace that we are using that is coming from that specific online resource uh, application we also have the uh, tools we have a width we have a height so definitely we don't need these things again here in the linear layout when we need the uh, we also don't need this one here okay so we have that one so now if, if we try to uh, do that then we can scroll it horizontally and we can see that things are working uh, even in our android uh, this design view if i just try to run this one and you can see we can we can like scroll from right to left so let me we have the three radio buttons you click on that oh what happened 
Maybe what doesn't that not behave like that? I mean, they should only check one, not all of them. So, checkbox, yeah, we can check, uncheck, check, uncheck, again, check, uncheck. We can check or uncheck, but for the radio buttons, it is not at all allowing me to uncheck. Normally, whenever we click on the radio button one, if uh, the other two will be unchecked automatically. But why it is not working right now? The reason is that the reason is simple. So we have these radio buttons. I just cut them for a time being, and instead of having those radio buttons separate one, we say that uh, radio button group. Again, I say um, height is uh, rack content, rack content, and here we paste these radio buttons here. And now, if I just try to run that particular specific application again, okay, so now we have this radio group. And now, look at that, they are automatically uh, uh, we can say orientation, vertical, horizontal. Let me run it, see if it is going to run it in the yeah so it is show me those radio button horizontal we can change how they are looking they are going to on, on the right of each other the previous one and now if we just try to click on this one oh, it is behaving as it should be or if we say that we need to put it in a vertical direction so again if we just try to run this one we can simply see that we have these radio buttons of course right now it is not doing anything but this is not the point where we need to learn how to interact how to respond from the user actions when he's setting something then what we need to do okay so we also have something like this we can do that so we have a scrolling we also have the yeah, horizontal scrolling when we also have the vertical <coughs> uh, not not the vertical scrolling but we have that one okay fine let me keep this is my horizontal scroll view and inside we have a linear layout which is a horizontal orientation by default it is a horizontal orientation because we have not given anything here by default it is horizontal so now i want to make a little bit complex one more thing i want to add another linear layout set so, okay, linear layout it sh should have the properties no it's not working you know why linear layout okay fine then we can have some uh, height property let me copy paste these things from here okay control v no okay let me again copy and paste here it's not working why it is not working as i told you in the lecture that at this particular specific point we have a what is on at the top level we have a horizontal view and we also have a linear layout at the top level it can have only one view group not the two and now we have provided at the top level we have two things even you can put uh, like even you can say that i want to have a text view okay fine no problem but these are this is a view at the top level at the top level we can have only one tag which contain everything inside it okay so that's why it is giving me an error message here and if we just try to run this application it is not going to run it it is giving me android compilation field and it is giving me um, junk of a document element so let's say that after the document element it is considering this is a valid document but there is a junk or there is something which is not relevant this is which is not correct over there okay so if i just delete this thing and just try to run it again it will work perfectly fine for me yeah so 
at the top level we can have only one element which contain everything inside now what i want why well, we we have created that particular specific layout okay this layout which is having a uh, horizontal one but i want to have a vertical linear layout okay and in that particular linear layout is actually our orientation vertical i mean everything go down and inside we have a linear layout let me put a scroll view horizontal scroll view uh, match parent and for the height we say wrap content and then we close it down and this particular specific linear layout uh, that we have created here i want to put each and everything control x uh, and put inside that particular horizontal layer so now if we look at that we have a linear layout if i go into the design view we have a linear layout inside we have a horizontal layout inside the horizontal layout we have a horizontal scroll view we have the linear layout okay fine no problem again i need to split now here after that horizontal scroll which is covering up to this particular point i want to add an image view what is the image view i say that uh, 150 db the same should be the height because those images resources we need to put some resource and then instead of having the cherry zard we say b drill and close that one so we have that particular specific image view we also need to copy that particular specific image view. okay now it's uh, I'm used to use the Apple one command C and command V here is the control so it's a little bit so we can uh, blast twice so you can see it is coming up here now I want to show you a few things here we have three different elements here and now I want to add the weight property I want to show you that what's a layout layout one okay and then we also let weight property one and then we also have the weight property one so what happened they will try to make the height of each of these one equal okay the height of this particular scroll view which contain another horizontal layout okay we can scroll horizontally and we also have two image views and that particular specific image views and the horizontal scroll view they try to have the same height because it's a vertical orientation linear layout so when we set the same weights we can also have something like this for example i see that that should be almost the double the size of this one again it may not be exactly double here but yes it has increased the size because that particular specific scroll view can be reduced in the size accordingly it is just trying to increase the size of this one and if i just try to uh, keep adding these control c okay now you can see that uh, they are trying to stick to that particular specific within that particular specific layout and that's again the weight property if we don't have the weight property here for example delete all these weight properties huh? and you can see that these things will going out of the screen they will start disappearing from out of the screen okay and i also want to remove that one and I also want to remove this one okay so we have so now if you look at that we have certain elements which are out of the screen again we need to provide the linear layout so what we can do we have that particular specific linear layout and we can we need to apply or maybe we can apply the uh, 
moment we need to apply the scroll view which is the vertical scroll view so where we need to provide well, I mean we want to provide on the whole of this linear layout which is the bigger one or we can ap apply it only at this one but if we want to apply because linear scroll view or the horizontal scroll view are can contain another element inside but only one element if you try to put multiple elements inside for example I just give you an example here for example we say that we have a scroll view we say match parent wrap content and then this and then try to put all these images inside that one it is not going to work now it's not going to work when I can run it and now it say that there is some error and what was that error no process okay um, let me run that particular specific thing again and it is giving me an error message so what is the error message here so we just try to figure it out look at that saying the main activity number 12 so line number 12 when you are creating that particular specific layout there is an error message so it's a scroll view can host only one direct child in the scroll view whether it's horizontal or the vertical it can have only one child view now what we have done we have provided multiple image view as a child of the scroll view so it said no it's not acceptable so what we can do we can say control z because we have already copied that one so i say create a linear layout i say wrap content wrap content and then we need to make it the orientation vertical and when we close it and then all the images we can put it inside so now if we look at that we can apply the scrolling on these two okay so now if we just try to run it it will run perfectly fine so there is no i mean how we can find out that we have a locket in the locket we can select which specific uh, process or the application which is running and we can see that you want to see everything you want to see only the debug information you want to see info you want to warn you want to error messages only or you want to assert so we have different way verbose mean it will show you everything that for example whenever you are applying the scroll view again we are if we are trying to scroll it left and right we can do whatever we want so this is an example of different type of scroll views or i mean different type of views as well as the linear layout we talk about the weight we didn't talk about the but you can say that let me show you quickly here um we say width, width match parent so when you say match parent actually the width will cover the whole screen for this particular linear layout which contain the all the images and here we can put the gravity we can say center so we look at it all the images are going to be center aligned we can also have the we can override that particular layout gravity and we can say that left so you can see that it is moving towards the left we can also have that particular uh, layout gravity right so you can see that this one is moving towards the right we cannot move it up and down as you know that it is a horizontal box which is containing that particular image view so we can only move it from left to right or maybe center but not up and down or we can say that it is like here the next one i can say that uh, layout gravity bottom but actually within that particular specific box it is aligning to the bottom of that one but it is not going to go and align itself to the like or right here or this different bottom maybe we can change the uh, what you can say that the images so we can see the differences uh, where are the, we can say that where is the right we see that our book 
artbook uh, you can see that this is one is a different one and but these are the gravity properties we can set and accordingly we can uh, change different things the other thing that I want to show you is the uh, we also have spinal we have the image button scroll view we have talked about we also have the edit text so what I can do we normally in one particular specific project we have multiple properties multiple uh, what you can say that activities okay so when we have the uh, multiple activities so what I will do in the next video that I will add another activity in the same project because now the video is like 45 minutes so let us stop at here uh, but in, when we come back uh, in the next video I will show you that how we can add a new activity in the project and then I will show you what are the how we can uh, use the image buttons how we can use the spinal and how we can use the toggle buttons how we can use the switch and how we can use the edit text so stay tuned and looking for my next video bye